What is good guys and welcome to today's video. I am currently in Croydon looking for Mr. Mike Thurston, aka Girthy Mike, and I have no idea where I am. I've literally never been here. Well, I've been to Croydon, but I've never been to the station. So trying to figure out where to go. But today we're gonna to be training arms. I'm gonna give you some of our tips and advice to training arms the best way you can. Sort of break it down how we train arms, when we train arms. Because for me personally, I don't normally train arms on their own. I'll train either biceps with back, and try it with chest. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys. So hopefully after today's video, you have a better understanding of what you can be doing, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, um, and all that jazz. So, so I'm gonna try and find Mike right now, and then we'll go to King's Gym, which is my first as well. I've never been to that gym, so we'll see how that is. It looks pretty decent in there, and the lighting looks naughty, so should be good. But yeah, I'm gonna go find Mike now. So we will catch up with you when I've got Mike. I'm hoping that Mr. Mike is uh, gonna be around the corner. Otherwise I've gone the complete wrong way and it's gonna be another 10 minutes before I find him again, but we'll find out in a sec. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Here he is, right there <laughs> <on> time. <laughs> oh shit, it's a big old puddle that is. Hey, How you doing mate? Good. You good? Right guys, we found Girthy Mike. Hold tight, hold tight. <laughs> but we're gonna go in there and show you guys an arm workout, break it down for you, how you can kind of make the most from your arm workouts. Me personally, I normally do arms with like biceps with my back and triceps with chest. How do you do arms on their own? I like to do them alone. Okay, so this I, I'll, I'll, I'll vary it, but I just love going to the gym and smashing arms. Yeah, fair enough. From time to time, I will do an arms workout like today, um, and I used to do bro spit, so I would do arms then. So I think it would be good to show you guys kind of how you can break the workout down, make the most of the session, and get massive arms essentially. So uh, let's go. Hey. Yo. Yo. I cannot lie, I was jealous Then I told myself to get it I don't see you Helen Keller I got the groove like I'm Stella yeah. Good fellas, good fellas My sauce a drip like an umbrella Please do not try me, you know better Out the window with the Beretta holder I know some niggas that run in your home I know some bitches that selling they soul Surfing the block, had to give it, then go Some of them rich, some of them broke I pull before just to get in my zone I be that nigga Marco with the glow Baddies pulled up trying to smoke all the dope I let them die, but that shit not a joke Whoa, rise and shine Dollar signs, I'm hypnotized Hey, ride or die, yeah You got yours, I got mine, yeah Baby, you stuck, you can't live If you try, yeah, live this life hey, I sleep and I die Tell these niggas run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it Tell these niggas run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it I know some niggas that run in your home I know some bitches that selling they soul Serving the block, had to give it, then go Some of them rich, some of them broke I'm on the wild side Ain't no fucking with me from the outside Ain't no fucking with me from the outside Ain't no fucking with me from the outside Right, so it's pretty loud in here, so after workout, me and Mike are gonna go through what we've done and kind of break it down for you rather than trying to scream at each other during the workout um, but we're two exercises in at the moment. But yeah. But um, I'm not sure I'm gonna last through the whole workout. It's a very big workout, but we'll see how it goes. Gonna get a silly pump, get some sick content, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas ain't really with that action. Get to packing, leave them lacking just like that, just like that. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you better. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you better. Niggas ain't really with that action. Get to packing, leave them lacking just like that, just like that. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you better. Get you better. Don't get no better, you yeah. ain't no better, can hey. get you better. I said I'm up now, I can never take a break or ever rest on drugs now. She just wanna come with me, she think I'm next on love, but I ain't got the money or the time to waste on my chill. Get into that money, girl, like every day can relax. I relax when it comes to the bank, I need that. Yeah, sure, I need that. Money fixing things. When you broke and fix a thing Bad bitches wanna ring And like half of everything Got a sigh of screaming We won't 
cream up And she need Jesus Go get a boss, babe Before yo Lisa Streets hot like feet bust So we can't freeze up He got my back now My brother's keeper Yeah, he keep that heat up Don't let it eat ya That's my Nina My mama Sita Yeah, it's on my hip, girl Just like a beeper If I don't know you You can't smoke my reefer I'm gone, Hey, Niggas ain't really with that action Get to packing Leave them lacking just like that, just like that. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Niggas ain't really with that action. Get to packing, leave them lacking just like that, just like that. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Smoking on that ayahuasca, burning on this asalama lake em, I'ma burn em, I'ma lake em, mean that I'ma wet em up What's your action, what you asking, did you taxing, you not eat more so fast than wanna be in such a has-been Gene and Martin, we in the ash and cheeks, I'm smashing, hoes by pass me, can't do no dirty for ratchet, that could like 30 for damn it, I leave you smoky like bandit Tell me now what you really want, I keep that perk like Willy Wong, I'ma leave if my Willy won't crack or speak that honky tone, four five blow you like trombone, feel good to write so I write my wrongs, but it ain't changed me dog, dope can't change my dog, where them glacier fall, shout out my Haitian dogs, I'm dope, ain't no withdrawals, I'm focused, she understand that most of all, niggas ain't really with that action, get to packing, leave them lacking just like that, just like that, don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter, don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter, Niggas ain't really with that action. Get to packing, leave them lacking just like that, just like that. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Don't get no better, you ain't no better, can get you wetter. Yeah. What's the land of the best of land? Right, guys, Elliot here. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I said earlier, we're gonna go through the workout for you now because it's pretty loud in there. Um, so, yeah, you can't really hear us talking. So, how did you find the workout? It was good. It was very high volume. Man. Yeah, it was a lot of volume. I, I, I like doing that kind of thing. But I think for most people, it's not necessary. Like, we were taking it to the extreme. Yeah, yeah. But we kind of do this. For yeah, it's definitely not necessary to do that much volume on arms. Like, you can definitely do it in a more compact amount of time and, and volume. But if you want to have a little bit of fun and blow your arms up, then yeah. give it a go. But we started off with dumbbell curls just to kind of get some blood in the muscle and warm up. Um, end up going heavier than I would usually because I'm with him, so I end up fatiguing pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I always start with dumbbell curls when it's something like that, or hammer curls, just to get the arms warmed up, ready for the workout. Um, yeah, I feel like that was a nice sort of introduction to the straight bar curls, because yeah. they, for me, that felt the heaviest. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was the most testing. So after, like, the elbow joints were kind of warmed up, we were good 100%. to go. And I think also it's really important that when it comes to an arm workout, you do ensure you're getting in some heavy movements because it's very easy to go to the gym, hit arms and just sort of do like fluff movements where you get a nice pump and you're getting a good squeeze, but you're not really like overloading the muscles yeah. and uh, do you mean you've, like, you've, especially if you're the type of person that struggles to grow your arms, yeah. you've got to create more stress. And one of the best ways to create more stress is to lift heavier weight. 100%. But obviously you need to, whilst you're doing that, you need to ensure that your form is on point as well. Yeah. So we went into straight bar curls, which was heavy. I haven't done heavy straight bar curls like that before uh, normally I'll super set it with something else um, but it was good it was tough yeah we tried I, if you're if you're going really heavy with them you definitely need to just give yourself a little bit of a extra rest yeah I mean when them. you go heavy with most things obviously you need to rest for longer to ensure you get the most from each set but yeah it was it was tough we went a little bit too heavy on the first set <laughs> yeah we tried to what was it 60 kilos yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah we were very ambitious with that one and obviously you find, when you go really heavy you always find out with the first set like Oh yeah, this is all right. I'll be able to do like another two sets of this, yeah. but you will fatigue quickly. So you know, give yourself some time to rest. But if you need to drop the weight on the last set, it's not. And what would what would you say about like having a few reps, especially in the last set, which are maybe not as strict as they should be? Like what? yeah, I think I think you're allowed to do that. Yeah. If you're doing some cheating curls, it's all right. Like obviously you're gonna be cheating to get that weight up. If you are gonna cheat, then make sure you go nice and slow and controlled with the eccentric portion of the yeah. movement, because that's really what you're trying to, you know, target at that point. You know, you, you can't kill the weight up anymore with the concentric. So just swing it up a little bit, focus on the eccentric until you literally can't even lower it down, controlled. But then we went on to incline bench curls, which was very tough. Um, the weights in there are quite, uh, you can't really figure out what 
weights you're actually using. So you have to just look at them and yeah, you kind tell of guess. By size. And I think when we when we started, it was a, we went a bit heavy for the uh, the three weights that yeah, we used. Over ambitious. Very ambitious. <laughs> So I burnt out literally so quickly. I think on the first set I got 10, 6 and 1 rep. <laughs> <laughs> Solid one. It's to be 10, 10 and 10. So make sure you choose, you go lighter than you think you can go because on the first set it's going to feel really a bit too easy and you might go a bit too heavy. But Yeah, on, remember, that, on that last one I just I had to turn it into just one drop set. Yeah. You couldn't do like a double drop set. Yeah, so make sure you go a bit lighter than you think you can do and remember you're doing 30 reps each set so it's going to be a lot what you're trying to anyway. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a good way to kind of finish off hitting the biceps. Yeah. It was it was good for me as well because I usually go and train like I do a bicep exercise, then triceps, then bicep, then tricep. And this was quite different for me. Yeah. Like bicep, bicep, bicep. So you really are sort of fatiguing them. I feel like it's a, almost a different kind of stress yeah, drop placing upon them. This is how I used to train arms back when I did a pro split. And every now and then I will do it like this. But to be honest, recently if I do do arms, it is bicep, tricep, or even I'll do like a superset where. Part one is bicep, part two is tricep. Um, I'm definitely feeling this one. This like, My arms are, are finished after that workout. So then we went on to triceps and did easy bar skull crushes, supersetting with dumbbell skull crushes. Um, and this is a superset I've literally done since I started training. And yeah, it was a good one. It was a nice one. Like, particularly with the easy curls, you feel like, oh, uh, you know, it's not, the, it's not that hard. But then yeah. when you come to do the dumbbells, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Now we're talking. As a little, because you, you were saying about adding more weight, and then yeah. I was like, nah, wait for wait for the dumbbells yeah. to come in. Um, <laughs> but it's a nice way to start off uh, the tricep movements, and you can go like heavy. You can go pretty heavy with it. Obviously, a lot of some people might struggle with um, pain in the elbows. I know that if I go quite heavy, sometimes like, my elbows can get a little bit sore. Um, but that's why I like mixing it in with the dumbbells as well. Obviously, you've got a little bit more control over over your movement there, and you're not fixed in a position like you are with the easy bar. Um, but yeah, by this point, it was. I mean, we've been training for probably like the best part of an hour already. So it was. It was getting pretty uh, tiring. Tiring. Yeah. yeah. Um, we then went on to cable rope pushdowns, which is like one of my favourite movements. We super set that with single arm pushdowns. Um, I love this movement because you can really concentrate on feeling the contraction. You can get yourself into a nice position and just really get a nice squeeze with the movement. I think it's a very satisfying exercise to yeah, do. Yeah, with the with the first exercise, the first superset, when you're doing like a skull crush, you, it's impossible to squeeze the contraction yeah, yeah. when your elbows above your head. 100%. But you still work the muscle, obviously. But when you're doing any kind of like press down movement, you can really get that good squeeze. In. And obviously with that one, you just need to make sure that you're keeping your elbow fixed in place, you're not cheating, and you're going through a full range of motion. Yeah, so it's, it's, I pretty much do it every, Every time I'm hitting triceps or arms, I will get this movement in. So it's a good one, you get to feel it. And yeah, it's, it's, it, I think this is the second to last exercise we did. It was good. The last one we did was dips. Now, I was pretty pretty finished at this point, so it was quite difficult to get many reps, but essentially the idea was to do three times max reps. So just getting as many reps as you can, finish off the triceps, but trying to keep it controlled so you don't get too much chest activation in, obviously, because we're not hitting chest. So yeah. how did you find that? Yeah, I found that was, especially with me, it's a tough one because like, I feel like my chest just wants to do everything. So I was really trying to concentrate, keep my body upright, just keeping the tension on the triceps. And I find that it's weird sometimes with the dip stations when your hands are further apart, yeah. naturally. you naturally want to try and hit more with your chest. So I was trying to get as close to the actual station itself so that I had like a narrower grip, which placed more emphasis on the triceps. And it was, it was, a, it was either going to be that or the, the dip machine yeah so somebody else was hogging that which is not ideal because i wanted to use that i haven't used it before but it was good i'm, I'm i was pretty pleased with that workout i thought i've got a good pump yeah. felt good as i said earlier probably wouldn't do, probably wouldn't need to do it for as long as we did it um you can definitely cut some of the volume back um focusing on the key movements and just making sure also you're hitting sort of your biceps and triceps from all angles making sure you're getting all different types of exercises there's no point doing like straight bar curls and then normal dumbbell curls and just exercises which are pretty much replicating the same movement so make sure you're hitting them at different angles and giving your full arms the work that they need to, to grow right guys thank you for watching the video make sure you go and subscribe to mike where can they find you just search for mike thurston and everything's going to pop up lots of videos there and on instagram as well at mike thurston so yeah i'll put his link in the description below but yeah guys thank you for watching make sure you drop a comment give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video thanks guys see you.